Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about onboarding, the onboarding flow for an indie app. This uh, topic uh, is uh, really important for me and uh, before we start and before I uh, try to explain why it's important to have an onboarding in your app, I want to start uh, talking about what does onboarding mean. If you check the human interface guidelines, Apple say that ideally people can understand your app or game simply by experiencing it. But if onboarding is necessary, provide the flow that's fast, fun and optional. So it looks like that Apple suggests that, that um, the onboarding is not so important and the user can skip it. But uh, I want to explain you, you should, in, you should uh, add you, the onboarding to your app uh, with some data. This screenshot came from App Store Connect uh, and uh, this is the benchmark section. In the benchmark section, you can see that there is uh, a data about the fidelization after the day one. For a lot of apps, uh, the fidelization is uh, really low because uh, it's completely normal that um, a lot of users download your app and uh, will never reopen it again after the first launch. So the normal fidelization is around 15% uh, to 35%. This this means that uh, if your app is very good for 100 people who download your app, uh, only 35 will reopen it the next day. So we have uh, only one opportunity to sell something to the other 65 people. And uh, for this reason, the simple solution can be show the paywall immediately. But uh, this solution uh, have one problem. The problem is uh, that doesn't work. For which reason? Because uh, uh, how can I buy something if I don't know its value? It is really important. We need to uh, explain the value of our application before uh, try to show our paywall no? to our users. So we need to show the value and uh, for, um, for do this, uh, we using the onboarding flow. But we need to call it onboarding, but uh, we need to think about it like uh, uh, a landing page. You know that in a landing page, you have the euro section with uh, the title and subtitle that explain uh, our um, main the main focus of uh, our application. We have the testimonial section with uh, some um, good review from our customers. Uh, we have the future section where we explain the value of our application and at the end, we have the pricing section where we ask for money to our customers. And this part is really important because in our onboarding, we don't need to talk about functionalities. We need to talk about value, which is the value that our app can bring to our users. We need to explain it. And uh, because the user basically don't care nothing about if uh, our app, for example, have uh, the dark mode, if our app have the live activities, uh, it's something that the user don't care. Uh, the user don't care if our app have a wonderful widget, uh, the user won't know the value of our application. So this is really simple. We need to understand that our onboarding flow is like a landing page. At the end of the, our landing page, we have the pricing session with our paywall. This is the main concept to understand. So show the paywall after the onboarding. And um, if you want to learn more about App Store optimization and app marketing, I wrote a book about this topic and uh, you can find the, um, the link in the description. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.